Tick, tick, boom. Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to What Up Clegg. This is the channel. I'm talking about all kinds of things. I kind of fix the bill and maintain it as well as product reviews. I'm doing a product review today, but on a product that I've been using for years, a long-term review. Um, this right here, we have a, a Milwaukee battery for the M12, M12 uh, tools. They actually, they're all for the M12 tools. This is Milwaukee brand. This is a three amp hour battery. This right here is a 1.5 amp hour battery. This right here is the uh, Chinese knockoff version of the Milwaukee battery. It's a 6.0 amp hour. Um, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna put them under load. I'm gonna check the voltages before the load, uh, the voltage after the load, and then I'll go over pricing on it and maybe we'll take them apart and see what kind of batteries are in these two. So without further ado, let's go learn something. All right, as I mentioned, these two right here are actually made by Milwaukee. As you can see here, the part number's on the bottom. Um, you can see without the glare. This right here is the 4811-2402. This right here is the 4811-2401. Uh, 1.5 amp hour. This is a 3.0 amp hour. This right here is made by Waitley. I don't know. It's... We're, anyways, this is the uh, again the Chinese knockoff version, 6.0 um, amp hour battery. Doesn't have a part number on it. I guess you just look under. I don't know. I got it off Amazon. Now, the prices of these batteries. This one right here to buy this one brand new is about forty-two dollars. This one right here new is a little over thirty dollars. This one right here is fifteen bucks. Uh, this one here is uh, close to seven years old. This one right here is about the same age. Uh, and this one here is about is going on to six years old. <clears throat> the uh, so it's about a year apart. They both get heavily used, even though this one right here is the most beat up one. Um, this is one I take on uh, more camping trips. That's why this one right here is beat up because it has the the rubber on it. And this right here I use mostly at home, but. Uh, I would actually say honestly this one here I use the most because I don't care if it gets damaged because it was cheap you know what I mean even though it yeah it's don't worry about it it's my mental issue anyhow um, the version for this the the 6.0 version from from the Milwaukee that's about $65 um, this one right here again is $42 this is half the price of the Milwaukee version of the 6.0, but um, let's see if we go ahead and take voltage of these and see where the voltage is. I just took them off the charger. I did not let them sit on the charger. I actually discharged them in, enough, put them on the charger. As soon as it hit green, I pulled them off. That's on all three of these. So. Let's go ahead and take the voltage test on these. I have my fluke meter here. And I have to use these tabs in order to get in to these slits right here. So a little one reads 12 volts. Let's see the Milwaukee one. reads 12.2 volts I wonder why it says negative it just means I have the the leads backwards positive and negative backwards but it doesn't matter still gonna read the same see uh, 1202 and then the weight B or whatever that one is going to be Uh, 12.28 so it's holding a little bit more voltage than the other two um, that actually makes a difference when you're using a tool to give you a little bit more kick on the power side um, but uh, let's go ahead and put these things on our load and see what the difference is what I'm going to use for the load is I'm going to use the solder iron the M12 solder iron this is the new version version 2 uh, this right here I found is it puts more load on these batteries than any other M12 tool I have so let me go ahead and get it set up 
All right, the first thing I'll do is uh, I'll do the M12 3.0 amp hour one first. You, I'll have a timer on it, therefore I have them all on the load for about the same amount of time. So as soon as I plug this in and kick it on, I'll hit the timer. So now I kick it on. Now if you see it's full bars right now, green light means that it's starting up. So, uh, again, the reason why I got the Chinese ones, I wanted to see how well they work. I did buy a few of these. I bought, uh, I believe, about four of them. Um, one of them was bad right off the bat. I just turned it back to Amazon. It came, you know, they gave me a new one. Another one I have, I broke the clip on it when I dropped it, but I can get a new top. They're about $10 and they give you two tops. But, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of hard pressed buying a new one to uh, just because of clips because I can buy a new battery by itself for 15 bucks. But, uh, yeah, it's. I know you're going to say this one right here is not going to last, or this one here is not going to last as long as this because this is a 6 amp hour. But this is only strictly to show a difference between the two. And because remember, this right here is $45 or $42. This right here is $15. So, you know, it, it, the amount of power that it, it draws and goes down is it worth the uh, the money. So, so right now we're running about, uh, let's take it to one and a half minutes and then uh, we'll shut it down. Okay. So if I turn it on net back on, you'll see it's down to three bars. So let's go ahead and put uh, this one in and have this one going while I check the voltage on this one. So we'll put the, you know what, let's go ahead and do the little one here. I don't think this one's going to last very long because like I said, this battery's old. Um, I'm finding that I get at least seven years. Some batteries I've got, I, one battery I got just a little over eight years out of it. Seven years is a pretty good deal, but this one here, I'll run it for 30 seconds just to see what happens. So let's go ahead and go. Showing full bars. And again, the one in here is the 1.5 amp battery. The M12. These are good for flashlights and maybe if you have to get in like tight places. Other than that, I, I don't you know I don't use it too often on my drills and stuff because I want something to last a little longer. But uh, all right, I ran that for 30 seconds. That's long enough. Let's uh actually you know what let's go ahead and test to see what the uh, battery bars are. It went to three batteries or three bars now. So, okay. Now for the Chinese one. Get that one fired up here. Reset. We're going to go for one and a half minutes, just like we did on this one. Like I said, during that time, we'll check the voltage on these two. And we're going to start. As you see, it's full bars. Lights flashing. So let's put this off to the side. Don't want to burn myself. All right. So this one right here, the uh, Milwaukee M12 3.0. That was uh, 12, like 12.2 or something like that. Let's see what this uh, meter says now. So 11.8 volts. Now for a minute and a half. This one here is. Lem point nine. So this one dropped a lot. 
in just 30 seconds. And again, that's 1. Amp, 1.5 amp hours. This is uh, 3.0. Basically, what it means by the amp hour means that it could run that many amps for one hour. And it says 3 amp hour, 1.5 amps, so on and so forth. So, and we're done. And we have still have four bars. It's on there for a minute and a half. I want to say that again, it's still four. Um, let's go ahead and check the voltage on this one. Uh, voltage is 12.21. Wow, it didn't even start off at what 12.2, 12 12.24 12 or something like that. So, mid and a half, it barely took any amperage off it. And again, I got this battery here. This is like about six years old. About a six year old battery right there. Um, so, again, the these batteries here, let's see if we can take these things apart and and then afterwards, you know, we'll see what type of batteries are inside. Okay, so I got them apart and uh, the Milwaukee ones, you can tell they're much better made. Manufacturers even have their little rubber piece right here on the bottom to keep it from Get damage on impact. Uh, there's no name on these. If you look on the inside, it's hard to get there. But they're there's. I don't know how to take these out without damaging them. But uh, it's just a part number. When I peeled it down, I just looked inside. Just like a part number in there. Um, I did a little research, and it looks like these are either made by Samsung or they're made by LG. I think these ones here are LG. And I think these ones here, these are like a light blue. I don't know if you can see that in there. It's like a light blue. These ones here, I believe, are made by uh, Samsung. So, or vice versa. But um, to take them off, there is a four screws on the bottom of here. Take those screws out. It's a T10 torque bit. And then you just... Uh, Pull the tape back, the sticker back, and it pops off. Uh, this one here, you have one screw here, and then you have to take a flathead, put it in here, and then pry this piece out because it clips on to around that ledge right there you can see in the video. Uh, I don't recommend that you guys take these things apart. If you do so, do it at your own risk. Again, if you guys remember, I'm a uh, untrained professional, so I'm stupid enough to take things apart, and that shouldn't be taken apart. Anyways, uh, the Chinese one, these little red tabs that help hold it in place, these things were like breaking off as soon as I took it apart, a piece of them fell out, so i going to show you the quality there. There's no rubber pad on the bottom, nothing to keep it from uh, shock resistant. I mean, even in this chair, there's nothing, no cushion, nothing. Um... I have dropped one of these, like I said, and broke off a tab on one of my other ones. Uh, these do not have a brand name on it. Um, but if you, you let's see in the video here, you can see a part number right there. I can read it out, but that's a long freaking part number. Um, don't know who makes these batteries, but... For this right here to be on for a minute and a half under the load of the soldering iron, um, six pin on barely move at all is pretty good. Or these ones right here, uh, I mean this right here dropped like, what, maybe 0 0.02 amps, or volts I mean. This one here dropped uh, a little over two volts. Uh, uh, 0.2 volts, somewhere around there. 
Well, no, it was, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 0 0.10 volts. And same with this one at 30 seconds. Uh, is it worth the money going with one of these? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Some people say that these right here, they, they go bad pretty quick. Well, they're only 15 bucks versus one of these that lasts half as long. Is a 3.0 over 6.0, which are 40 bucks. Again, the Milwaukee version of this was a 6.0. They're $65. So for the half the price, or for the same price, you can get four of these, and so on. I've actually had Milwaukee batteries straight from the manufacturer. I mean, it only lasts me uh, a few months. I had an M18 last me about a month and a half. I had an M12 last. Uh, last me about a year and it went bad so i mean they they go bad either way like a light switch right like a light bulb you never know how, how long it's gonna last you can plug her in a pop right away or you can plug it in it'll last you 20 30 years anyhow that's my review on this video sorry for rambling on um if there's something else you guys wanted to see more information that you guys want please uh put it in the comments section you guys have uh, comments or knowledge that you want to share with us, please do. Um, again, put it in the comments section. We'd love to hear about it. Love to hear the knowledge you guys have out there. Uh, if you like this video and you learned something, please hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, if you didn't like the video and you didn't learn anything, hit the like button, subscribe anyway, so you can watch the rest of my videos and make fun of me. All right, everybody, you take care.